Greetings, Mac Warriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is TTB speaking, and welcome back to another episode of German Mac Engineering, the daily show where we build cold hearted, humorless, stompy robots for maximum effectiveness and efficiency on the battlefields of Mac Warrior Online. Today, guys, we are playing the Griffin 3M. The one-sided griffin. Look at this profile. You actually have to expose about half your mech in order to be able to shoot, but uh, it has some nice added quirks that uh, make this thing quite safe to play and quite fun to play. Let's go ahead and check out the loadout. Running this in a brawler configuration, four SRM6s all in the right torso, a lot of jump jets, a lot of ammo, and an XL330 engine. Alpha strike power is about 52 damage. Speed, almost 100 kph, 1.39 heat management, and a jump distance of 48. So this thing, like the proverbial griffin, can fly. Now, we also have a missile uh, speed here in this mech, which is very, very important for us. Missile velocity, 10% uh, bonus. Uh, we'll get into the missiles in a second. And we've got crooks for structure. So this thing is actually surprisingly tanky. For example, look at the uh, CT right here. With the skills, 83 front armor and a structure of 72. So once you're through the armor, you almost have to go through as much value in structure. So this thing is deceptively tanky, especially the arms, in order to destroy these arms, which by the way are great shield arms. Look how much area they actually cover. These are great shield arms. In order to destroy one of these arms, you need to do 80 damage. That is quite tanky for a 55 ton mech. Now, let's have a look at the weapon systems. Four SM6s, no Artemis, we need to fit this in here with the XL engine. Um, and as you can see, the max range, if we build it like the skills that I will just show in a second, we have a range of about 310 meters, which is really, really important, and a projectile speed of 500. 400 base speed plus 100 from the quirks and everything. Um, and of course, less spread and whatnot, but that is not important. So we are really, really building this out to be that SRM specialist. And with all of those jump jets, you will have a very much fun time here. You can cut out one more jump jet here and add half ton more SRM ammo. I'll leave that up to you guys. Let's go ahead and check out the skill tree. Now we went heavy, heavy, heavy into firepower here to get all the missile nodes, high explosive, missile spread, missile rack. Um, I also went to get almost all the heat gen nodes that I could get and almost all the cooldown nodes that I could get. But my focus, guys, my focus was on velocity uh, for faster missiles and, of course, on range. With SRM specifically, if you have that extra range, that can mean such a big difference. If you are uh, shooting at a target at 270 meters, that's very close. 310 doesn't sound that much closer or that much further away. But those 40 meters... Holy hell, I've, I've had matches where it literally came down to a few meters of whether I could hit the target or not, so you definitely want that extra range. What you also definitely want for this build, since this is not a Griffin 2 and you do not have the power of ECM. So what you definitely want is full survival tree, full armor and full structure to make use of that juicy extra structure. Then we go nothing into operations, nothing needed there, nothing in sensors. We just go auxiliary, double cool shot with cool shot cooldown, and that is it, guys. That's the build for today. Let's go ahead, take this thing to the dropship, and see how it performs. I'll see you there. Online. All systems nominal. And here we are on our first map. It is Frozen City Classic, and I am joining my teammates here as we push through the tunnel and into glory. At least that is the plan. I've got a general with me, I've got a stone crow with me, and there is our first target, a uh, Phoenix Hawk that apparently is AFK. I, I just want to make sure that I am checking the uh, left side here to make sure that I'm not getting murdered. Nothing there. All right, let's go in on that Phoenix Hawk and try and shoot and kill him. By the way, guys, the clip that you're seeing is done with five skill points so as you can see the range of my SRMs is pretty puny and everything else is also going to be pretty puny this is going to be well as dirty as it gets yeah one more shot in we cheap out on the kill you shouldn't do that normally but here's the thing guys I have been killed through the back so many times by people that were AFK or disconnected and then came back so if you happen to come across somebody that's disconnected uh, do take them out Plain and simple. Same thing with people that are AFK. Do take them out, because if they come back, they will shoot you in the back, no questions asked. Alright, let's go in on our next target. Let's see what we can find. Maybe that Fafnir around the corner. It's a Wrath. It's a Fafnir hero mech. Um, or there might be something here around the corner in Charlie Ford. It's an Atlas. Beautiful, and he is not paying attention. Let's go get in close to the Atlas and shoot him with our SRMs and back into cover. Let's try it again, shall we? 
beautiful shot to his back, opening up everything. And oh, he's just sponging all those SRM6s. And there we go, he's dead. Beautiful damage. Let's go in on his buddy, the crab. And uh, as you can see, we just use our jump jets to get in range, shoot, and then back into cover as quickly as possible. You want to make sure you play this mech with arms unlocked. Um, that allows you just to twist a little bit quicker. Um, but if it helps you guys, if you have a problem with aiming like that, then just keep arm lock on it. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Just play whatever you're comfortable with. What I'm comfortable with is shooting the grasshopper in the back, then getting around the corner and going in on his buddy, the Fafnir, because that's a big, big, juicy target, and that allows us to do a little bit of nice damage. Okay, never mind. I'm going for his buddy here, the Timberwolf. There is the Fafnir. Oh, <laughs> so many MRMs. You don't want to be in front of that thing when it shoots. Um, so let's keep on jumping. Ah, perfect. Yep, yep. We're alive. All good. All good, we're running a little bit hot now, but I have my general buddy around the corner. The Fafnir is dead, perfect. Try to shoot on the Marauder, but 320 meters, guys, it was out of range. Barely out of range for the skills, uh, very much out of range for where I'm at right now. So, there's only one solution to that. We need to get closer and we need to help our teammates around the corner here. As the Grasshopper from before, let's shoot him in the back if we can. Nope, I shot too slow and I didn't hit anything. Let's go in on this dude, though, another Grasshopper. He's showing us his back and he's dead. <laughs> that simple. Nice brawling. There we go. There's the guy from before again. We shoot him in the back. He, what, what are you shielding for, dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm in front of you. Okay, there we go. I found a new friend, apparently, which is a Marauder 2. And he's a City Red and should be City Dead any second now. Nope. Side torso. Never mind then. We just go in on his party. <laughs> I was just a commander going for a drive-by. Uh, I won't deal with him, though. I will go for bigger and juicier targets like that Marauder 2. Try and take him out here through the side. Beautiful. And keep on pushing onto his timber with buddy. Oh, that's a brawling build. Let's keep our jump jets rolling. And ha <laughs> you missed me. Beautiful. Uh, hopefully you keep missing me. <laughs> there we go. Nice shot on his side torso. And now we can go for CT. I'm trying to jump over him here, but the game doesn't want me to, so we'll just shoot him in the back. Never mind. There we go. And there is our last target. A puny, tiny commando all alone in the midst of the enemy team, and uh, we'll see if we can get another shot in on him here. Jump shot, and ha <laughs> <laughs> TTB has killed a Steiner pilot. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice first round to get started on this thing. We almost went through all our rounds of SRM6 ammo. Uh, that was a, a beautiful round. Four killing blows, six assists, two kill most damage dealt, 842 damage done, and five components taken out. Guys, if you like this content, go ahead, check out my Patreon page, become an active supporter on the channel, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the next game. And by the way, guys, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, stand by what I just said. If you see an AF, if you come across an AFK, don't hunt for them, but if you come across an AFK, take them out, because they are going to shoot you in the back if they come back. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, try and find some more targets here. We switched scenery. We are now in the Viridian Bog, and I'm trying to get above my teammates to try and find some targets. Uh, we got some guys in Echo 6. We got some guys in Echo 5 as well. Rotation is uh, starting, and I need to get a little bit closer. Let's see if we can find something. Maybe that Marauder 2. Whoop. Yep, that was a nice shot onto him. And uh, so there's also got a buddy here, a Sun Spider with LRMs and Streaks. Uh, that is a weird build, but also intriguing build. So uh, let's kill it. If we can. Oh, never mind then. I've got a much juicier target here. And as you can see, guys, you go in, you shoot and you twist away immediately. Don't watch your missiles. Don't watch your missiles. You need to learn how missiles... That sounds weird. You need to learn how missiles feel in the air. So you should know whether a shot of yours is going to hit or not. So the point being is you shoot and you twist away immediately. Same thing, good practice, for example, with auto cannons or with course rifles or with PPCs. Uh, when you're trying to fight against somebody in front of you, you shoot and you twist. Online. Of course, in this case, it didn't destroyed. twist much, but if they are shooting back at you, you definitely need to twist, guys. Make sure to not stare down the enemy, because especially in a build like that, they can easily go for your side torso, and yes, it's quite tanky, it's uh, about 100 damage that they need to do to kill you, but still, you just don't want to incur too much damage early on, um, because, let's face it, guys, you need to be alive to do damage, and if you are dying, or if you are so banged up that you can't do any damage anymore, then all of this becomes pointless, so keep your mechs healthy. 
don't pussy around, but keep them healthy if you can. Like, you couldn't hit the ultraviolet here. Um, still didn't have the skill points here and the range here. But that's okay. We go around the corner. We are to 70-ish now. Nope, never mind. There you can see. 10 meters. The direwolf just walked backwards and that was all it took to get out of my range. So I have to get closer. And now we go whale hunting into his face. Go on to CT. Yeah, you can hit me, buddy, but you will be dead in a second here. Come on, team. Hello. There we go. He's dead, finally. Alright, what do we have up top here? It looks like a catapult, maybe. I didn't get a good look. So uh, let's chase it and let's try to kill it. Four kills to four. This is a very, very even game at this point. Uh, there's some uh, water on my cockpit. Let's go ahead on the catapult, give him a shot and drive off to the side here. I'm looking to uh, support my guy here in Echo 5 and then he already dies, so never mind then. Let's go ahead, give these guys a shot and get back to cover, back to the team. Let's not hang around here, that would be suicidal. And uh, maybe support here on the Fox 5 side. There's still the catapult there, I think. Yep, there he is. Gave him a nice volley. Back to cover. We've got another Marauder 2 coming in. Same thing. Uh, I did hit half the volley into the wall, but that's okay. We need to make sure that we stay alive now. Four kills, 2-7. This is a very close game. I'm dropping down to get in on that uh, Thunderbolt, Top Dog, and his buddy, the Crab. And we'll just go ahead and shoot these guys to death with our SRMs, hopefully. Um, it's a very close game, we have to be very aggressive now. I think I can take down that Thunderbolt if I really commit to it, so let's try it. Let's commit to his side torso, maybe. Yep, never mind. I'm almost dead, he's also almost dead, and I'm fully dead. Well, never mind then. See, I overestimated the amount of damage I could do uh, in the time here, but he overheated himself trying to kill me, so all is good. Nine kills, two nine, we have evened out the match with a very aggressive move together with our teammates, so... Big kudos to my teammates here for uh, having the balls to go in and go deep. And enemy Marauder 2 is a uh, CT almost dead, so that's not, not looking too bad. We have a champion alive here, MRMs, LB10 and small lasers. He definitely has a good damage potential. And we are leading with one kill right now, so we have a Sun Spider to deal with and that Marauder 2. That Sun Spider is as ready to drop his side throw, so he's also only running LRMs, so he's not that much of a danger. I mean, he's got one good UAC 5, yeah, but the rest... Hmm, come on dude, just go, just go CT, take him out, you can do it, or maybe not, we'll see, uh, there we go, beautiful, and the other guy was killed off screen as well, so we pulled out the victory from certain defeat, well played guys. Well played. Let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. Zero killing goals for me this time. 10 assists, 2 KPDs, 576 damage done with 3 components. Taken out. Beautiful round, beautiful round and well played by the team in the end. Thanks for watching guys. Drop me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.